Eight or nine weeks ago, Congressman Petri from Wisconsin saw me on the House floor, and he said, how's your back? I said, my back's no good. He said, 10 years ago, my physician told me that most Americans are going to have back trouble. He said, with that in mind, if you're ever dealing with a constituent and you're having difficulty communicating with him, ask him how's his back. He said that'll generate more conversation than, than you want, and I've tried it and it works. <laughs> I hardly know where to start here. My back pain occurs not infrequent, not infrequently. But in spite of that, I had planned to seek re-election recently. But if I'm not physically capable of going full ahead, I fear that it would probably have a negative impact on the campaign. So I have dis dismissed that proposal and decided I will not seek re-election. I still have the energy and interest to discharge congressional duties, but back and skin cancer are troublesome. Now, some of you may disagree with this. Mentally and emotionally, I am stable and reliable. <laughs> That was stable and reliable, if you missed that. <laughs> but vulnerable physically because of back problems and skin, skin, skin and cancer. In fact, I'm, after when we meet today, I'm flying to Bethesda, Maryland to have my recent skin cancer surgery uh, evaluated. So bear with me as, as we go about that. But campaigns have a way of demanding effectiveness. And, and given my back and skin cancer troublesome problems. I just felt that I would be limited physically and would probably serve no good purpose. Many good candidates have surfaced to express interest in, in this effort. And before I forget it, and I, I, I may do that, I want to recognize the Gil Guilford County Chairman, M Michael Warrior, Michael Piccarelli. Thank you for the huge... <laughs> Thank you for letting us use, use your facility today. I appreciate that. The High Point Chairman, Paul, where are you? The High Point Chairman's here. And the big guy, the big guy next to him is the District 6 Chairman, A.J. Dowd from Pilot Mountain. And A.J., thank you for getting me to the Surrey County Community Center last evening. It was a very good grand wine tasting event, and I did not leave there inebriated. I want you to, to know that as well. We made sure of that. Thank you for doing that. But the, the, as I say, the campaigns demand effectiveness, and, and I hope that'll be forthcoming. I thank the candidates who stepped forward. Now, some candidates said they would not run if I ran, and I thank them for that courtesy. You, you didn't owe me that, but I thank you for it. I'm trying to think of an appropriate way to say this because, I, because I'm so overwhelmed with this crowd here. I, I held that seat, folks, subject to two-year leases, subject to revocation or renewal. Renewal is always better, given that, given that uh, ch choice. But it's not my seat. It's not a Howard Coble seat. It belongs to the people of the 6th District. I have many thank yous to convey, but I'll do that at a subsequent date because you all are still going to be stuck with me for at least another year. <laughs> But I, I wanted to thank the media, who's been very fair to me, able, sta able, diligent staff who stuck by me, very good supporters. In fact, I've had some folks today to call me that express disappointment that I'm not seeking re-election. I apologize to you all if I, if I have disappointed you. I hope I haven't, but if I have, hold me harmless for it. I'll visit with you from time to time, and again, I want to thank you all for, for being here. Where's Dwight's story? Right here. Dwight, Dwight's story, explain to these good people what you have. Back a long time ago, uh, was it 100 years ago, Howard? Close to it. <laughs> 1984, a little after 1 o'clock at night. Uh, it's when Howard found out. Of course, Ed Mack uh, corrected me on it, says, well, it wasn't the... November the 7th, I said, I realize that. It's, it's November the 6th, what they got on the record, right, Howard? I think that's right. 
but each winning time that Howard has made, this was his first sign. And he signed it each, each time he won. So. so Howard, I'd like to, uh, I will give this to the, uh, well, we wanted to get downtown to UNCG, to the lady that's going to do all this uh, historical stuff about this young fella here. So, Young fellow, he said, pick up old Matt. So we, we'll, be, we'll be sure that he gets that, okay? Thank you, you, you want to hold there, taking a picture of it, and let, let him see what it looks like a long time ago. Now. And I'll see Dwight's story at the High Point Christmas Parade. I'm sure they couldn't have it without you, Dwight. Well, I don't know about that. You're the, you're the, uh, the King B, so. Well, hardly that. But folks, I would just want to just want to thank all of you. Have I omitted any chairman? Any other chairman besides the three I recognized? Is that John Blust in the background? John, good to see you as always. Folks, we'll continue as I say. We're going to be around a while. We're not going anywhere quickly. But for the time being, it's it's time for me to step step aside. Thank you all.